Dear Brookdale Christian family, thank you for joining us this morning, either on your phone or on your computer or tablet or smart TV. We are blessed and I'm blessed to be able to talk to you on an important message that the Lord has given me for this time. And it's entitled, Put First Things First. In times of crisis, it's a principle, a principle always correct, but especially in uncertain times. It's a principle that was taught by Jesus to his followers. It's also a secret to God's provision. Do this and you'll get that. It's also an antidote to worry. Do not be anxious, but do this and God will do that. As we can see on the screen, put things first is a word for uncertain times, a priority principle, and God will do the rest. That word for uncertain times is my word to you, it's my advice, since we are in uncertain times. It's also a sure word. It's also a principle to live by and it's a word from someone we can trust. It's a word from Jesus. It's a good word. It makes sense. It's a word from God that we can live by. Actually, Jesus responded and spoke that word in times of trying, in times of hunger, in difficult times. And he responded actually to the tempter in Matthew 4, 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. In such times, we need a word from God. The word is Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. We hear all kinds of words today. Let's hear God's word. God's word is a priority word. Set your priority straight. The way Jesus says it is by but seek first and especially in times of crisis and uncertainty we need to go back to basics to common sense to what's important jesus actually is calling us back to the most important to what's the priority now is not the time to worry about secondary things it is time to do the most important because too much is at stake. It's a little bit like Mary versus Martha. Jesus had come to Mary and Martha and Lazarus' home and he was teaching important things to the people that were there. Martha was worrying about service while Mary was listening to the master's instructions. And Jesus will commend her. He'll say, Martha, Martha, you're worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part. Luke chapter 10 and verse 41. Let's be like Mary. Let's choose what will work. Let's choose a divine word, a divine promise. Because the verse from Matthew 6, 33 continues by, and all these things will be added to you. Choose Jesus' advice. Choose Jesus' commandment. Choose what will bring, as he promises, the good results that we need. Provision, protection, peace. So let's prioritize God. In fact, that principle says, seek first the kingdom of God. So God is 
seek first God and to put God first and then his righteousness meaning do what's right so put God first and do what's right what does it mean to seek uh, God well don't leave him out in this time of crisis think about who he is what he does and what he can do and what a better way than to remember and you can say it along with me the Lord's Prayer that teaches us who God is Matthew 6 verse 9 our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen we're reminded as we say that prayer that God is our father that God is our provider that God is our forgiver that God is our protector let's prioritize his lordship which uh, means his kingdom his lordship over over us let's treat him as our king let's be aware that God is above everything and that he is in control let's align with his will let's do his command starting with the clear and, and simple such as Jesus said believe in God this is the time to believe in God do not be anxious but pray and through prayer receive peace this is a time to hear Jesus command forgive to hear Jesus command love God neighbor self this is a time to hear the word of Jesus give give and it shall be given unto you be faithful in your giving in your tithing and you'll see how God will provide to your needs in that word from Jesus doing the right thing first we see that after we seek God we are to do what is right we have to seek his righteousness what does that mean well does that means first in our heart in our, in our thoughts let's develop in those moments pure thoughts if we go for entertainment let's watch clean movies let's not hate develop let's not fall for endless negative criticism yielding to anger let's let's check what's cooking inside of us let's check the the oven it means also doing what's right in words in actions in attitudes now is the time to read a portion of the Bible daily now is the time to pray for others now is the time to do that complete prayer described in Philippians 4 verse 6 be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God let's care and express that care through our prayers Let, let's let's beg God to help us and help the human race put an end to this tragedy we're going through let's prioritize what is right in in very simple terms you've heard it a hundred times respect the precautions recommended by the local or federal government to contain the spread of the virus take care of yourself wash more than usual wash your hands a lot eat normally travel as less as possible learn social distancing everything that you can do that is right 
That is common sense. Now, what we just talked about is our part, seeking God and doing what is right, putting first things first. What will happen? Well, that verse, that word promises us that God will do his part. It says, and all these things shall be added to you. Just like in the prayer, after we've made our request known, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Peace will be the result of prioritizing God and what is right. Provision also will be the result, because in the context of that verse 33, it was saying that, do not be worried about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, what you will, what will wear. It's in that context of worrying that Jesus is saying, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So God will be our provider, our helper, but God will also be our protector our protection. Let's remember Psalm 91. We read on verse 9, because, and I insist on that, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place, because you've done that, because you have sought God first and his righteousness. Verse 10 says, no evil shall befall you nor shall any plague come near to your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. So yes, in this times of crisis, let's put first things first. Then the word for those uncertain times is seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. It's a priority principle. God and what is right, and God will do the rest. Provide peace, provision, protection. Prioritize things now. I challenge you to start by receiving Christ. If you haven't received Christ as your Savior and Lord, I encourage you to receive Christ as your Savior and Lord. If you have received Christ, I encourage you to rededicate your life. Put first things first. And if you need encouragement, just call the number on the screen or visit bccag.com. God bless you.